Hey, what's up? It's John and recently I've been getting a lot of comments, tweets and DMs about your favorite emulators like Delta, INDS and pretty much all of the applications from App Market not working. Now, what's happening is that when you try to open the application, it instantly crashes, which is super strange because that's never happened before. Most people think that the applications are revoked, but they're not. They are working perfectly fine. And normally when an application gets revoked, what happens is that when you try to open the app, it says unable to verify app, even though you've already trusted it before. And now when you try to trust it, it just doesn't trust and you're not able to get into the application. And that's what a revoke looks like. What this new issue looks like is when you try to open your application it just crashes even though you're able to install it fine and trust it on your iOS device trying to open it just immediately crashes the application and there's a couple of reasons why that is happening some people are saying it's because Apple has started to implement their new provisional um, security measure which is attached to enterprise certificates which is what app market and a lot of other third-party app stores use to install their applications and basically apple has added another security wall to make sure you're not installing any applications that they don't want you to install on your ios device like emulators and other applications like that however there's also another side to this which is that the alt store and the build store are currently not working at the moment and the applications are crashing on ios 13.3.1 because Apple updated something in that iOS version that completely breaks frameworks when trying to sign applications. The developer of Delta and the Alt Store actually tweeted about that. He said, strange, looks like iOS 13.3.1 breaks apps sideloaded with non-developer IDs, but only if they contain embedded frameworks. Includes apps installed the official way via Xcode 2. To be honest, don't know if this is intentional or a bug, but either way, I'm working on converting Delta slash the alt store to use static libraries instead of frameworks. So this issue is that iOS 13 introduced a bug or maybe Apple did it on purpose where when you sideload an application through the alt store, alt deploy or the build store, the applications just crash because they use frameworks. And that can easily be fixed by the developers. The developer of Delta is already working on fixing that. He said that he already fixed Delta, all of the emulators within it, except Nintendo 64. And once he fixes Nintendo 64 within Delta, then he'll release the updated version of Delta that works on iOS 13.3.1. And he already fixed the alt store on iOS 13.3.1. You can install it just fine now, but you can install Delta, which is the whole point of getting the alt store. However, there's people that aren't on iOS 13.3.1 that are experiencing that crash when you try to open your application and it instantly closes. So the question is, what is making this happen? Some people say it's the new provisional security measure that has been in place in iOS 13.3.1, but it's also occurring to people that aren't on iOS 13.3.1. I've been messaging back and forth with a lot of people that are having this issue trying to figure out what's going on and there's people that aren't on the latest iOS 13.3.1 that are experiencing this issue and maybe that's you as well. Or maybe, like me, this isn't affecting you at all. I recently updated my iPhone 7 to iOS 13.3.1 and I'm able to use Delta and INDS and any application from App Market just fine, even though they're supposed to not be working on that iOS version. So I really don't know what's going on at the moment, but I would love to use this video as a way to figure out what's going on with all of you guys. So if you can, Leave a comment with your iOS device, if it's an iPad, iPhone, uh, iPhone XS, whatever it is, with your iOS version, whether it's the latest iOS 13.3.1 or any other iOS version, and comment if your applications from App Market are working or they're instantly crashing. Now, there's a chance that applications may get revoked from the time that I record this video and you guys see it. So if your application says unable to verify app, that means it's revoked. You're not getting that crashing issue, which is what I wanna know if it's working or not. So make sure that you include that, that your application is crashing or if it just says unable to verify app, 
And yeah, that way we can figure out what is going on. As of now, it doesn't seem like there's any fix if you are experiencing that, but hopefully the developers will be able to fix the applications and we can find a workaround to this new provision security measure that Apple is going to be implementing soon. It's been over 13 versions of iOS and somehow we've always found a way to get the applications that we want on our iOS device without a jailbreak. So I'm hoping that we can continue to do that. I'll keep you guys updated with videos to come, but if you wanna stay up to date with everything, whether one application is working and one application is not, then I recommend that you follow me on Twitter and Instagram so that you know when applications are working again as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'll probably make a video about it soon. So with that being said, that is all for this video. Make sure to like this video if it helped you, if you found it informational so that you know what's going on why your applications are crashing and make sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever I upload that video that applications are working again and I guess I'll see you all in the next video.